Hey guys, welcome to Technobook, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool text mask using DaVinci Resolve. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to go into the effects library, click on effects, and drag down a fusion composition. Now you want to right, uh, right click on this fusion composition and press open in fusion page. Okay, so now that we are in our fusion page, you can see we have one node right here, media out, you can drag that around. So now the first thing we need to do is to drag down a text plus node. So to do that, we just press text plus and drag that down onto our node diagram. So now in our text, I'm just gonna, you can type in anything you want. I'm gonna type in tech notebook. I'm gonna change my font. And I'm gonna put this on two lines. And to see this, what we need to do is to just drag this up onto our second viewer and let go. Right now, I just have it on one view, but you can, if you have it on here, just press this button and it uh, becomes one view. So now we want to increase the size of this um, text. And we also need to decrease our line spacing to get the two lines closer together. And we can increase our size a bit more. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we need to just uh, go to frame zero and keyframe that. Okay, so now that we have keyframed our size, we need to go up in this row and click on layout. And so now we need to move this tech notebook text off the screen. So what we need to do is first make sure that it's keyframed and Move, move this arrow until uh, the N is um, not visible anymore. So now we need to move about 20 frames over and change this X value to 0.5. So now if you can see this text is uh, moving into the frame. And so as you can see right now there's a bit of uh, motion blur and you probably don't have that. So what you need to do is just check this box that says motion blur and you can change this to anything you want. I'm going to set this to a four. And so now when the stuff is moving over, you can see that just moving at one speed. So now we need to make it so that it's really fast at the beginning and then it just slows down. So to do that, we need to go into our spline and we need to just select text, but remove the size thing. So now you need to click this button that says zoom to fit and make sure this thing is selected, show only selected tool. So now what we need to do is to select the entire thing and make sure both of these are selected and you wanna press F on your keyboard. So these will give you two handles and you wanna pull out on these handles. And so this will make it so that um, it goes pretty slow at the beginning, speeds up, and then slows um, at the end. So let's uh, view this. Okay, so it didn't render that time. Let's go back and watch it. And now you can see it looks a lot better. Okay, so now we have the text sliding in, but now we need the zoom. So what we need to do for that is to skip ahead about say 30 frames so now we're at frame 50 and we need to go back into our text and press this keyframe button for size now let's skip ahead about let's say 16 frames so 66 and we'll increase this size a lot so right now we've maxed out the size on here let's just type in 100 Okay, that looks like it's too much so let's bring it down to about 20 and that looks about good except the text is only in the right half of the screen so now we need to go back to frame 50 and we need to keyframe the position 
and now we need to go back to frame 66 and we need to move this X coordinate. We need to get the X coordinate a bit lower so that the entire screen is now white. So now when we go back and play this, wait for this to render out. And let's go back and try that. Now you can see that it zooms in as well as repositions. So now that way the top of this B, it covers the entire screen. So now let's go back and watch this. Let's try that again. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we just need to do one more thing, which is drag this media out node and connect the text node to the media out node. You just take the gray square and put it right over media out and now they're connected. Just play that on the viewer just to make sure everything looks okay. And it does. Now we need to go into our render panel. And just press start render. Now that it's rendered, we need to go and bring back that file that we just rendered into our edit page, which I will do right now. Okay, so here's my clip right here. Now we can just delete our fusion comp and drag this video file into our timeline. Just play through, make sure everything looks okay. And so now we need to put our clip that we're going to use under this. So I just have a clip of a lake that I found on stock image on a stock image website. And I just have my video layered on top of it. So now what we need to do is to section this video in half. One with the text moving in and then the other one with the text zooming in. So let's do it right about, so here's where it moves in and here's where it zooms. So like right about here looks good. Just go to your blade edit and <clears throat> put a, and divide the clip in half. So now we need to go into our color tab. Okay, so now we're inside the color tab. So in this clips menu, you just wanna select the rightmost clip, which in my case is clip number three. And now you wanna go down to this row. So in this row, there is uh, curves, there's qualifier, window, tracker, blur, key, sizing, and 3D. So you wanna click on the qualifier and make sure your mode right here is set to HSL and not any of the other ones. So now you wanna make sure your tool is set to this one right here, which I have selected, and you wanna click on some of the text. So now you can see that these values have populated. And now what we need to do is to go into this node chart where the video is. We need to right click and click add alpha output. So now you can see that there, this new blue thing popped up. So right here we also have a blue square and we need to drag the blue square and let go of the line when it's on top of the new blue thing that got created when we clicked add alpha output. So now when you let go, you can see that we have the video in the back and the text in the front, but that's obviously not what we want. We need the, the video inside the text. So to do that, we need to click on invert, this invert button. And now, as you can see, the, the video is inside the text. But right now, you can see that there's still a bit of white that's surrounding all the text. So to get rid of at least most of it, you need to go to this clean black thing down here and drag this up to about eight. This is way too much. Uh, yeah, eight looks pretty good. So there's still a bit of white but it's not blurry and none of the text is like merging together. Okay, so that's all we need to do in the color panel. 
So now we need to go back to our edit page and watch the video. So right now you can see we're playing the video and there is an abrupt change from just plain old white text and text with uh, the video in it. So we need to go to uh, video transitions and drag an additive dissol dissolve into the first clip and on the right side. So now when we play this, you can see that the new image just fades in, in into the text. So finally, what we need to do is to press the, these two lock buttons and we need to remove these audio clips because we, we aren't using them. And so now we have our video. I'm just going to trim my video right here. And so now let's watch it again. Okay guys, that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.